Well, my name is Dr. Ian Masters. I am the head of the Marine Energy Research Group at Swansea University. And our research is to look at generating energy from the sea, that's from waves and tides. Um, we're looking at this as a, a new form of energy for the UK and around the world um, so that we can uh, reduce our reliance on fossil fuels and move to a, a low carbon future. This is world first technology. You know, the first tidal turbine was only installed a few years ago. Uh, we think that marine energy could produce up to 15% of the UK's energy in the future. And it's, it's very exciting to be in at the beginning of a new area of research and a new industry that's just setting out um, and will be as, as big as wind energy is today um, with devices in the sea around our coastline. First thing about my job, I think I've been doing research for a long time now and the thing I enjoy most is the, the building something and the going from a design to reality. So we have a, a project at the moment where we're looking at a new type of wave energy device uh, which will extract energy from waves. So we have some computer models of this novel idea and we're in the process of building a test rig. Um, so I'm really enjoying the process of designing of that test rig, doing the engineering. So again, it's that, it's that, it's starting from an idea, starting from the basics and the fundamentals and working it right through to something you can see and you can see operating. So, so this device is a hydraulic flume. It gives you a constant channel, a constant flow of water. We can control the speed and the height of that water. And into that we can put test devices or test objects uh, to look at various things in engineering. We as tidal turbine engineers use it to look at uh, components from marine energy devices like turbine blades. Being a scientist and being inspired to it is something that's happened to me gradually. Um, if I go back to being at school, I was, I was always a little bit geeky, a little bit uh, unsure of myself. But, but what I could do when I was at school is I could do maths and I could do science and I got a lot of enjoyment from being able to do that. So I naturally um, progressed from there through A-levels and on to, to university in, a, in science and maths subjects. Um, and, um, and that led to really where I am now. Um, so it's very exciting to be in this area, particularly with renewable energy, to see how we can move from where we are today, a reliance on high carbon technology, and where we can move to working on low carbon technologies for the future.